Hi, uh, my name is Carol Hess Nichols and I'm the Director of Marketing for Business Notebooks at Hewlett Packard. And I'm here today to talk to you guys about the HP Slate 500 tablet PC. So um, first I want to talk a little bit about the market before we get into the product. So um, we see the Slate market as very much an evolving market, um, very much like the netbooks were a year or so ago. Everybody's trying to figure out how do we use these products, where's the best use case, what should they look like. Um, and we've started to segment the market and think about it in two different ways. There's media slates and then there's slate PCs. So the way we think about it is a media slate is really a device that's very much for entertainment. Um, you can go out and uh, watch movies, you can look at, you watch, listen to music, you can look at your um, email or surf websites or things like that. When you have a slate PC, it's really more like a full functioning tablet PC. Um, it has a Windows operating system on it, um, you would run office applications on it, and it would you'd have touch on both of those, but you might also have pen touch capability ability on a slate PC. So we opted to go down the Slate PC path and offer that full operating system of Windows and Office. And when we did that, we decided it's probably best to focus on businesses um, and the corporate customers. So I have a little um, placemat here to tell you a little bit about some of the customers that we're thinking about. So we think about business executives or people who are traveling and then a lot of different vertical opportunities. So from a business perspective, we think of this uh, Slate PC very much like you might think about a netbook that's a companion device. Um, businesses are taking it on the road maybe for a day or so. They're going to do content consumption and some level of light content creation on it like they would um, a netbook device. But again, it just happens to be in a slate form factor. What's nice about using the Windows environment for that is there's a level of security added because when they do their email, they're using their Exchange server, maybe they're VPNing in uh, to their corporate network, and they have that level of security that gives them a comfort level to do their business work. Um, then from a verticals perspective, there's all sorts of examples. The one I like to use is the insurance company example. So let's say you had a car accident. You can take this uh, Slate PC. It's got a camera, a VGA camera on the front, but it has a three megapixel camera on the back. So you can use that three megapixel camera and you can take a picture of the car accident and be able to have that logged on the file. You could then also um, interview via um, video the people who were in the accident. So, you know, please tell me what was your perspective of what happened in the accident, what's yours, um, and you'll have that recorded as well. Then you can use your typical insurance application to actually write um, the insurance report. Here's what happened, blah, 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 and include in there the pictures and the video and go ahead and send that off to your uh, headquarters. So you can right there on the spot file that insurance claim. So in the in the past, I think maybe paper and pen were used for those types of applications. Now there's a new opportunity for that. Um, another example that um, I like to think about is the hospitality example. So let's say um, you're in a nice expensive restaurant that has nice wine list and maybe just several different types um, of bottles of wine. You can have a dynamic wine list on your Slate 500 um, that's tied back to the inventory in the back room. So if there's five different tables and everybody's looking at the wine list, it'll dynamically change on the number of bottles that are available based on who's buying those um, because it's tied to the back end inventory. Um, at the same time, your purchasing person can be in the back and when it comes time, then they see that they're getting low on a certain wine, they can go ahead and reorder that, all because it's dynamically connected together and uh, refreshed on the spot. So again, something where you might have wine list on paper in the past, you'll now use it in a very um, user-friendly, dynamic way. Um, so those are some of the use cases and business models that we think about for the device. Um, I'll walk you around the device and tell you about some of the specs of it and then we can talk about any other questions you might have. Um, first of all, you can see here is a keyboard button. So one thing to think about is we've got the device on here. If you just wanted to automatically have the keyboard pop out, you can push that button and do it. You can also switch between the keyboard and the handwriting um, as well. The next thing we have here is an SD card slot. So if you want to make sure that your data is very secure and maybe not actually keep it on the device, you can use the SD card slot uh, when you have maybe a, um, a, an x-ray from a doctor's office that you would want to show on the device but not keep on all the time. 
We have the power connector here and I'll talk in a moment about the dock and how that power connector works. You can either have it in the dock or directly to connect it to the power cord. Um, here we have a headphone jack. This is the on-off switch uh, that we talked about um, earlier. Is there a sleep switch or is it just either on or Yeah, off? and it actually will lock for you too. So okay. you can work on um, you know, making sure it's secure and you don't accidentally turn it off. So when you yep. turn it off, it turns off, off. Or you can does do it go into a sleep state? You can do it just, you can set it up just like you would any of your other Windows okay. type uses, right? Um, the other thing then we have on the top is we have a home button. So at any point, if you want to go back to your desktop, you push this home button uh, and you can do that. And the other button we have at the top here is the um, control alt delete button. And when you push that, you get the familiar Windows interface where you can either log off or switch users or go to your task manager as well. So that's what you get with that button. Uh, on the top here, we have a USB port. So you could add any type of um, USB accessory that you might want there. And here we have the volume switches. So if you're playing, say, a training video and you want to increase the volume uh, or not, you can do that. Um, as we talked about, you've got the VGA camera here. So another nice example of how to use that is if you set it in the dock here with the VGA camera, you could, say, be Skyping on this and have your regular notebook here taking notes on your session that you're Skyping with, which is very nice. Um, as far as components on the inside, this does come with an Atom processor. So it's a uh, Atom Z540 processor, which is the 1.86 gigahertz. Um, we also loaded up the machine with two gigabytes of memory, so we wanted to make sure there was great performance experience with that. We include a 64 gigabyte solid state drive, so a good amount of storage you can use on the device, but again, you've got your USB and SD card if you want to have additional uh, storage capabilities. Um, and there's also a Broadcom um, decoder in here, so if you want to play high definition video, you can play 720p video, so it's a nice experience from a video perspective. Again, back to maybe if you're doing a training video or something like that uh, in your office. Um, it weighs 1.5 uh, pounds, so it's very light and very nicely balanced um, on the unit uh, itself. From an ID perspective, you can see on the back we have a rubberized back coating here that's also textured, so it makes it very nice to grip um, and hold while you're using the device itself. On the front, we used a chemically strengthened glass, so we made sure that it had a level of durability. Uh, the same type of glass that we use on the Elite Book uh, 2740p product the convertible tablet that we have. That's for business, uh, corporate enterprise businesses as well. We want to have that same level of durability. Um, and we also have a nice square band around the edge here. The idea here is also for durability. So if it was tapered, it might look a little bit thinner, but it might not be as durable if it fell um, on one of the edges. So we wanted to make sure it had a level um, of ruggedness to it. Um, in the package together, You'll get the um, HP Slate 500 PC. You'll also get the Slate dock, um, as well as the carrying case called the Slate Folio and the uh, pen that comes with it. One of the nice things about the uh, Slate dock that you'll see is there's also two USB ports here and there's also an HDMI port. So you could connect that up to your uh, TV, you could use a dongle to VGA and um, connect it up to the uh, projector in a conference room uh, for your business. Um, great to have the uh, USB ports because you can cook uh, a USB keyboard or a USB mouse to that, but of course it has Bluetooth as well, so you could hook wirelessly uh, if you wanted to. But a lot of alternatives when you've got a total of three USBs um, on the device itself. That's, That's the power? That's the power, okay. right, exactly. Um, so you can see on this device it's already connected to the power cord there. Um, and again, it's the same power cord, so you can either put the cord right in the device or you can go ahead and set it here. From a pricing perspective, you get the Slate uh, tablet PC, you get the dock, the pen and the folio um, for $799. There's one SKU, so that's the SKU with the two gigabytes of memory and the 64 gigabyte solid state drive. What's the display resolution? Um, it's uh, 720, uh, 724 by, by 600. 1024. 1024 by 600, and it's a uh, 16 by 9 uh, panel. And are there 3G operators? 
options like AT&T, Verizon. So right now we've gone with Wi-Fi as integrated on the unit itself. We have the USB port so that they can put a dongle on there and that way customers have their choice if they want to go with Verizon, AT&T, whatever they have choice on. And is the battery replaceable? The battery is not replaceable. It is uh, incorporated in the unit um, but does have five hours of battery life and one of the nice things about it is every time that you put it back in the stand it's automatically charging. So this orange dot here shows you that the unit uh, is charging and when it turns to a white color it's fully charged. So if you're using it say in a uh, retail setting like we talked about you're taking it to a table to look at the wine list and then you put it back at the hostess stand every time you put that back it's recharging again so you'll get a pretty long battery life that way.